Alright, so we're going to be doing another GIMP text effects tutorial here. This one is going to cover a few effects like gradient text, metallic text, and glossy reflective text. So let's uh, just start on up. I have a file open. It's just called text effects onexcf 420 by 300 now. It doesn't really matter what it is. So let's go ahead and make, make a new layer with a transparent background. Alright, go to the text tool just by hitting T or by clicking GIMP and getting to it that way. Click anywhere. Let's go ahead and type something like this text is glossy. That's going to be kind of small so we're going to make it bigger. Um, that's good. Let's pick a better font, though. Um, okay, this one's bolder. I think it'll look better when it's reflective. Let's go ahead and move the text over a bit to there. So there it is. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this layer right click on it alpha 2 selection now see after we hide the text you can see the border behind it so now in this layer you're going to fill bucket you can get to that quickly by pressing shift B you press D to make sure the color is set to black and then click to fill bucket alright now what we're going to do is go um, go to the gradient tool you can do that just by hitting L and then going to the different types of gradients which are either down here in mine or by default over here in the tool options so let's pick one called this is one I made called purple metal just a simple purple to black gradient I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a bit like so now what we're gonna do is do the gradient hold down control if you want a straight line Um, Alright, so there's something like that. Let's go ahead and um, deselect all. Okay, so you've got that now. That's just the very basic, um, the very basic border text. Not border, the background text. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a border behind it. Here's another way to do borders. Right click on it. Right click on the layer. Alpha 2 selection. Make a new layer behind it. Select grow two pixels fill bucket color you want I'm gonna use this dark uh, blue and fill it in there and I have a border around it like so if you want you can um, blur the edges of the border I don't think I'm gonna bother with that Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to add a reflection of this text. So we're going to right click the layer, click duplicate, select either one of these layers, then press R to get to the rectangle tool, highlight the text, control X to cut, control V to paste, then drag it where you want, press shift F to flip it, hold control and click to flip it vertically. Press, the, press M to get back to movement tool. Move it so it's just under there. It can look a bit weird when you have a letter like Y that goes under the line of the rest of the letters. So you either have to line up the text along where the Y is or the text along where everything else is. I'm going to line it up with the Y like so. Then, we're gonna, then you just click anywhere to anchor it down. Now what we're going to do is set this layer to be semi-transparent and then we're going to add an add a mask to it so we can make it even more transparent like a gradient add the layer mask press L to get to the gradient tool press D to get back to black and white scroll up to the top click any of these are all pretty much the same in different colors in different colors they'd have different things but with black and white they all look the same now um, we're gonna hold control and and 
do that to define the length of the gradient, then do that. And now see it's um, you can adjust it however you want. So you can have full to tra full transparency to almost transparent or you know any range you want really. So I'm just gonna do that for now. Now we're gonna make the top of the text shiny to make it look glossy. So go back into this layer, right click, alpha to selection, new layer there. Now what you're going to do is press E to get to the ellipse tool. Hold down control and alt at the same time to get to the intersection tool. And then click once, let go of control and alt, start dragging, then hold control again. So now you're dragging from the center of it, like so. Let go there, and then what you're going to do, see this little top square there, you're going to click that and drag upward. Go to this one, drag that downward a bit, that one over a bit. You're really just tweaking it so you think it looks good. This is going to be the, we're, we're defining the region that's going to be shiny. So now let's zoom back out, fill bucket, shift B, and now go white. Fill that in white. You can go ahead and deselect your selection with control shift A. Now go to opacity for the layer and bring it down a lot. There we go, glossy text. It would probably look better with a better gradient on it, but this is as good as we're going to get here. Okay, so that's the first text effect, glossy text.